So let's walk through the academic planning and enrollment map. This is an archetype map that brings together the experiences that students go through each semester when deciding what classes to take. We built the map by interviewing and brainstorming with students. Not every student goes through every step in this process, but based on our research, we captured the range of possible journeys that students go through in their academic planning and enrollment process. One thing we discovered while doing this research is that most students think of academic planning on a semester-by-semester -semester basis. Because students cannot depend on class availability in the long term, planning farther ahead than this is extremely difficult at Berkeley. We broke down the map using colors to indicate the different steps students take, the questions they ask, and the tools they use. Students start off in one of two places. They have chosen a major or they have not. Students who have not chosen a major begin by asking some questions to narrow down the fields they might want to study. Once they've done that, they are at the same place of the process as students who have declared a major. At this point, they start looking at requirements, and that gives them a list of classes that would fulfill those requirements. In the next stage of the process, students look at both required and elective classes. Here, they're trying to narrow down their list to classes they would actually want to take. They take into account factors like professor, workload, time, and location. This lets them narrow down a long list of potential courses into a set of prospective class schedules. Next, they look at how realistic and feasible these schedules actually are. The primary way they do this is by asking other students about their experiences. They come out of that part of the process with an optimal schedule and backup schedules. Then they enter the enrollment phase. You'll see there are multiple paths in the enrollment process. Students often don't get or are waitlisted for the classes they want and may have to adjust their schedule multiple times. Currently, students do this under high pressure under the Talibari system. The last step is that each student will have a schedule and as the add drop period passes, they constantly evaluate how much they like the courses and how feasible their schedule is. At some point, their schedule is locked. This process then begins again for the next semester.